my job and our role a part of this project is supporting young people in their thinking and opening them up to get them to understand some of the challenges but also we have support mechanisms in place to support them if they need that help. So my name is Greg Pinkney, I'm a Criminologist Urban Youth Specialist and Director of SOLVE, the Centre for Youth Violence and Conflict. So we've been doing a series of workshops with the young people, um, looking at kind of issues that impact young people outside of school, in the community. But this session today is going to be looking at social media and getting them to really think about some of their choices and then maybe speaking to strangers, individuals that may um, be a cause of concern but the children themselves may not necessarily notice that. And it's kind of building that resilience and giving them the schools and the tools to be able to respond if they find themselves in those particular situations. My whole role of the, what I do with children and young people is planting seeds, as many as possible to young people, to get them to think, to get them to understand I'm not their dad, I'm not their older brother, I'm not their granddad, I'm just an individual that's going to advise. Because he knew that a young person seeing that money all the time is going to make that young person think, even though they wasn't getting that money that the lifestyle that this individual is living, you must always have loads of money. So my role is to give advice, my role is to get them to think. So if there's one thing that I want young people to take is that I'm coming from a perspective of, I know. I come in from a perspective of life experience. Not that I've been to prison, not that I've been to jail, but I've been amongst individuals like themselves that have gone through those particular things and it's just giving them that kind of key and that kind of insight into a world that oftentimes is not being told to them by individuals that manipulate, coerce them and try to utilise them and exploit them in a range of different ways. This in information is important for a number of reasons. I think number one, it oftentimes doesn't get taught in the education system. So when you think of the kind of mainstream education and the kind of national curriculum, there are aspects in which Ofsted and the Department for Education will ensure that young people have awareness. This takes it another level because whilst children are out of school, whether it's Easter, whether it's summer holidays, whether it's Christmas or half term, whatever it may be, there are young people that are being exposed in their communities to the issues that we're worried and we're concerned about. And I think it's important that there is another level of education. So whilst we talk about what happens within the school system, we are working outside and in conjunction with the school system to kind of continue that that process of young people learning and understanding. And I think it's more important because we're talking about children being the future. And I think it's important that as uh, academics, as researchers, as practitioners, as parents, as members of the community, I think we all need to play our part in that village of supporting children and young people.